In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert a binary number into a hexadecimal number. So let's start with this example. Let's say we have the binary number 101101111. How can we convert this into a hexadecimal number? The first thing you want to do is separate the binary numbers in groups of four. So this is the first group of four and this is the second group of four. Now convert the binary numbers into a decimal value. To do so we need to multiply the one by two to the zero and then the second one by two to the first power and then by two squared and two to the third power. Two to the third power is eight, two squared is four, two to the first is two, and anything raised to zero power is one. So we have 0 times 8, so that's 0. And then we have 1 times 4, and then 1 times 2, and 1 times 1. So basically, we just need to add up these numbers, because they carry a 1 uh, with them. So the binary number 0, 1, 1, 1 correlates to 7, because 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. Now for this one, this is 8. 4, 2, 1. So we're going to add up 8, 2, and 1 because they have a 1 value associated with them. So 8 plus 2 plus 1, that's going to give us 11. Now we need to convert these numbers into the hexadecimal values. 10 corresponds to A and 11 corresponds to B. So we're going to replace 11 with B. And so we have B7 base 16. So the binary number 101101111 correlates to this in the hexadecimal system. And so that's how you can convert a binary number into a hexadecimal number. Now for the next example, let's say it's 10111011. Go ahead and convert this binary number into a hexadecimal number. So like before, let's break it up into groups of four. Now, notice that we don't have four numbers here, so we can add two zeros. So the first group will be 0, 0, 1, 0, and then the second group will be 1, 1, 1, 0, and the last one is 1, 0, 1, 0. So let's start with the first group. So we have the numbers 8, 4, 2, and 1. So we only have a value of 2 here. For the zeros, just ignore them. So this number, 0, 0, 1, 0, corresponds to a value of 2. For the second group of 4, we need to add 8 plus 4 plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14. And for the last one, the significant values are 8 and 2, which will give us 10. Now recall that 10 corresponds to 8, 11 corresponds to B, 12 corresponds to C, 13 corresponds to D, which means 14 corresponds to E. We could replace a with, I mean, 10 with a. So the answer is going to be 2 e a. So it's 2 e a in the hexadecimal system. And so that's it. That's how we can convert this binary number into a hexadecimal number. Now let's try another example. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Try that one. So let's separate it into groups of 4. So the first group, we're going to add three zeros. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. And then the group in green is 1, 1, 1, 0. And then in blue, 1, 1, 1, 1. 
and in red, 1100. So for this one, only this number is significant. So we have a value of 1. For the second one, the numbers 8, 4, and 2 are important. So 8 plus 4 plus 2, that's 14. And for the last one, all of them are important. So they add up to 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, that's 15. And for the final one, it's just 8 plus 4, which is 12. So we know 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, 15 is F. And so the answer is 1, E, F, C in the base 16 system. So this is our answer as a hexadecimal. Now to make sure that we have the right answer, let's convert the binary number and the hexadecimal number into a decimal value. And let's make sure that it's the same. So let's start with the binary number. So this is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 squared, 2 to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and so forth. So we have a 1 associated with 2 to the 12. So 1 times 2 to the 12, that's going to be 4,096. And then we have 2 to the 11th, which is 2,048. And then 2 to the 10th, which is 1,024. And 2 to the 9th, which is 512. And then 2 to the 7th, that's 128. 2 to the 6th is 64. And then 2 to the 5th, which is 32, and then we have a 16, 8, and a 4, which is the last one, 2 squared. So if we add up these numbers, 4096 plus 2048 plus 1024 plus 512 plus 128 and all the way to 4, this will give us 7932. So now let's convert the hexadecimal number into a decimal number. Let's see if we get the same thing. So we have 1 E F C. So we know E corresponds to 15. And F course, I mean, E corresponds to 14, F corresponds to 15, and C corresponds to 12. We need to multiply C by 16 to the 0 power f by 16 to the first, e by 16 squared, and 1 by 16 cubed. So it's 1 times 16 cubed. And we said e corresponds to 14. So it's going to be plus 14 times 16 squared. And f is 15. And then c is 12. Sixteen to the third power, that's four thousand ninety six. Sixteen squared is two fifty six times fourteen, that's three thousand five hundred eighty four. Fifteen times sixteen is two forty. And sixteen to the zero power is one times twelve will give us that. So now let's add up four thousand ninety six, thirty five eighty four, two forty and twelve. And so this will give us the same answer, 7,932. So that's how you can check your work, which means that this indeed is the right answer. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to convert a binary number into a hexadecimal number. At the same time, you also know how to convert a binary number into a decimal number and also a hexadecimal number into a decimal number. So thanks for watching.